What is going on, everyone? Anthony Co-Francesco here from Data Dive, and this is the Quick Start Guide. In this video, I'm going to be explaining Niche Dive. So if you've been using Data Dive for a while, you're really going to like Niche Dive. It lets you get started on your research faster and easier than ever before. Now, there's three different places that you can start a Niche Dive. The first is from Amazon Search Results. So here I am on the search results page, and I've typed in wine glass. So if I scroll down, I'll see underneath the product a button to the left-hand side that says Niche Dive. All I got to do is click this button, and then our algorithm is going to run in the background to find similar products to the item that you've selected. Now, this is going to work best if you choose the top organic bestseller for the niche, and you can see that even the product that I've selected, which is a wine glass without a stem, Datadive has done a really good job at finding other products that also don't have a stem in the wine glass, right? These are really good. Now you can see here that there's a product that doesn't quite match what I'm looking for. So what I can do is I can check that off, but it looks like just about everything else is correct. Could be a little bit better. I'll show you how to leave feedback in a little bit. You can see it's doing a pretty good job. If I want to add more products manually, I could go and do so right here from clicking the toggle. Now, another place that I can start a niche dive from is here in the product detail page. Just like before, I have a button for niche dive. So I would just click it. The software is going to run in the background to find similar products. Now, the third option is right here inside of the tool. On the top right-hand side of the screen, you see this button for niche dive. This is the one that I like the most because it allows me to choose how many competitors I'd like to add to my research. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the product here. You can see it got this stemless wine glass. I'm going to choose 30 competitors, and then I'm going to create a niche. Now, this is the quick start guide, so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about some best practices for using the tool. I already mentioned to choose the top organic bestsellers for the niche. What you're going to find is that if you try a niche that's overly specific or too small, Niche Dive might have a little bit of difficulty uh, creating that niche for you. On top of that, let's say that you go and create a niche based on the top organic bestseller for the niche, but it's not your product. Well, no stress. You can always add your own product to the research by clicking this Add ASINs button right here. I would paste in the ASIN of my own product. I would click Add, and then Data Dive would add that new product to the niche. So the last thing that I want to show you really quick, remember when I was doing the dive earlier, it did a pretty good job of getting wine glasses without stems, but it looked like there was one or two options in the niche that still did have stems. If you're using Niche Dive and you're not 100% satisfied with the results, what you can do is click this button in the middle of the screen, which is Niche Dive Feedback, and then I can say, hey, this was pretty good, uh, and I'm saying this is pretty important. I'm going to say, look, uh, tried to dive wine glasses without a stem. Uh, DD did a pretty good job, but still included a handful with a stem, right? The more feet, what we got here, what ASIN did you input? This one, and then I click submit, right? So now that feedback is going to go to the dev team. This is a brand new feature. Our algorithm is only going to get better and better. So I would strongly encourage you to use the feedback button. If you come across a situation where the niche dive just isn't working, remember, you can always go and manually add products to your ASIN tray. I'll link the video on how to do that down below. Uh, I really have been using the niche dive a lot. It saves me a bunch of time. We can see a lot of users checking it out. So I encourage you to give it a try. And uh, that's everything we have in this video. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.